Hi everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and we are coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Football. Six box, pick your team at number 15. No vet common ship. We're looking for a lot of cracked ice. All the big names, of course. That's what we're looking for. Big thanks to all of these lovely people for getting into the action right over here. So six box, pick your team 15 on Wednesday the 3rd. There you go, Tyler, with that last spot. Mojo, there's people who won spots in those cello pack breaks. So no matter how you got in, we appreciate it. Now, here's a so fresh and so clean case. It's a six box break, we're doing half the case. Break 16 is in the store right now with no fillers attached to it. You want to buy your team straight up before they end up in fillers. I would get that going right now. All right. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side using that die right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This side we will save for next time, which is break 16, which we could probably easily run back tonight if you wanted to. All right, five autographs, one on card per box on average. A lot of autos in this break. We are, we are gonna see some random players here, but that, sometimes that's, that's how it has to be. We have to sift through some of the random names to get to the, some of the big names. You'll see kickers, you'll see linemen, you'll see, you'll see uh, Hall of Fame head coaches in here as well. Although someone was telling me the other day, I think it was Nick Jaspi, who was telling me the other day that uh, that like Rodrigo Blankenship, the uh, Colts kicker, has actually been reselling pretty well on the secondary market, at least whenever this came out a few weeks ago. So, yeah, blanket chip is all up in this stuff, but yeah, it's apparently it's selling well. At least at least a couple of weeks ago. So, if that's the case, hey, I wouldn't mind Kurt Disser wouldn't mind a couple uh blanket chip cards, autographs of that. So this is rookie year, I think, and if he ends up, and if he ends up being like a Hall of Fame kicker, and you have his rookie auto, that might be a decent return on investment. We got Phoenix Suns and New Orleans Pelicans tied at 22s, with a minute 15 left in the first quarter. We got basketball on in the background. Did anyone? I don't. Did anyone watch the Pro Bowl thing on Sunday? Like some virtual event, was it was it interesting? I'd be surprised if anyone actually did watch the whole thing. Anyone actually at least tune in for a little bit? What was what was happening there? We'll do uh, left, right, and randomizers on these. We'll separate them out if they're uh, if they're numbered. Raymond Calais for the Rams. That'll be for Raymond De Jesus. So inserts like this will ship. Obviously, that's not a common. And stuff like this as well. You know, obviously, that will, that will ship. That's out of 49. That'll ship. And if, there's a, if there happens to be any points cards, which there might be, we'll randomize them as... Uh, we'll collect them together as one lot and sell them and, uh, sell them and <laughs> randomize them to one person. There's Quez Watkins, autograph not flipped around. That goes to the Eagles. Martin with that one, McSub. All 
All right, we've got a ticket stub autograph, and that is Sean Bradley. 43 out of 54. Second Eagles autograph going to Martin. We've got Col Colby Parkinson going to Seattle. That'll be for Nicholas and the Seattle Seahawks. Ooh, and a Justin Jefferson ticket stub. On-card autograph, 11 out of 18. Nice. Vikings. That'll be for Martin. He won that spot in a cello pack break. Nice. He had a pretty exciting rookie year. Are the Vikings looking for another quarterback? He might have another quarter, a different quarterback going to him. All right. Uh, yes, Mahomes and Brady's will get shipped. I think though that's the only exception to our, our no vet commons rules. Boom, there you go, what a pull. He won that spot too, Ramon. There's one on eBay, already at 800 with a day left. Yeah, mix up's like done, you don't need any more hits. Sit out the rest. Nice pull, right? If it wasn't, if it wasn't for another Justin in the league, Justin Herbert, Justin Jefferson might have been Rookie of the Year, the rare non-QB Rookie of the Year award winner or running back. It's usually a QB or running back. Well, does Zion already, have, already has 15 points at the end of the first quarter? Wow. Could be a big night for Zion. All right, that was just the first box, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, maybe go grab a lottery ticket mix-up. You won that spot, got randomized uh, the Vikings in that filler break. So you won the Vikings, and you won a Justin Jefferson out of the first box. I know, right, David? Maybe we should probably just change the QB Rookie of the Year award. Maybe they do need to do that. Maybe they do need to have an award that's like best quarterback, best rookie quarterback. And then best rookie running back, best rookie wide receiver, best rookie tight end, best rookie defensive player, something like that. Otherwise, it's just it's just a quarterback mostly. Sometimes a running back will will win it. But I mean, Justin Herbert's probably probably going to win it. There's Justin uh, Matubuki Matubuki Buke. Ravens, Aaron Billingsley. And there's Justin Herbert right there going to the Chargers, Sean Maddock. Got the bolt straight up. Any guesses on this uh, redemption for bragging rights? Yeah, I love the ticket stub design on that, Ramon. That, that's, all, that's always a fun fun feature. All right, there's championship ticket autograph. Jacob Eason, 11 out of 49. As of now, Jacob Eason's QB1. For the Colts, Kurt Disser. Although you would think that the... Well, the, the Colts, I think, said that I think I heard from a maybe Pat McAfee show or something like that. The, the Colts said they were in. They were talking to the Lions about Stafford, who I thought would be a good replacement for Rivers. 
and then just the Rams came in, recountered with like a Godfather offer, and then the Colts were like, yeah, no. <laughs> we're not going to give up that much. No, thanks. We've got Colin Johnson for the Jaguars. That's going to go to Kurt again. And so now Jared Goff is now in Detroit. This could be a nice fresh start for him. There's KJ Hill. Chargers. Higgins right here. All right. The only person guessing is McSub. Chase Claypool? I'll give you $5 of break credit if it's Chase Claypool. It's Tim Patrick. I don't know where he goes. Is he, uh, he feels, he sounds like a Bronco to me. He is a Denver Bronco. All right, and that will go to Jason Siebert, who won that team in a, uh, in a team random, cello pack number seven. I'll do a recap at the end, too. box Guesses on that redemption? Clyde Edward Delair, says Tyler. Where does this guy end up? There's Ray Lewis to 49. That's for Denver. That'll be or Denver. That'll be for Baltimore. <laughs> That'll be for Aaron. Front-facing autograph, Logan Wilson, Cincinnati. That'll be for Mark N. All right, rookie ticket, Raymond Calais for Raymond and the Rams. Oh, we got some guesses here. We've got Tyler Brenner guessing Clyde Edwards Elair on the redemption. McSub going with Kenneth Murray for the Chargers and Corey's gonna go, go is gonna go Claypool again. Got Ben DiNucci. Jason with the no check that Travis Abramson with the Cowboys.
got James Proch, championship ticket autograph. 14 out of, does that kind of looks like a butterfly. 14 out of 49. It'll be for Aaron and Baltimore. Fifth autograph right there. Is going to be Joe Burrow. Wow, no one gets Joe Burrow. Uh, Mark, Mark N. with the Cincinnati Bengals. Picked up the Cincinnati Bengals straight up. Is rewarded with a Joe Burrow rookie ticket variation RPS autograph. Get well soon, Joe. In case you were in case you're wondering what his autograph looks like. There it is, Joey B. All right, three more boxes to go. Yeah, he is already he should he should have time now. While he's rehabbing. Sign some cards. See the final two boxes right over there. Break 16 is in the store. As, as of the time, as of the beginning of the break, we did not have any fillers or anything like that. There's still no fillers for them. 18 teams left in break, second half of this case right here. This is the makings of a hot case, ladies and gentlemen. So I would pick your teams now before they end up in some sort of number block, and then that gets kind of cumbersome. If you want to make it easy, just buy your spots straight up. Especially if you don't end up hitting in this break. You might as well try your team again in the second half. Too many times have people said, oh, of course the hits are in the next half, the break I'm not in. And then I'm sitting there going, well, why didn't you get into the break when they were? And it was definitely available. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, that rings a bell, Corey. I'm pretty sure Panini came out and said they, these Joe Burrow redemptions, at least for contenders, are ready to go. But I think I think they, they had just missed the deadline by like a day or two or something. So that's the good news. So they, they, should, they should get returned back to you pretty quickly. I think whenever they have them, they usually get, the turnaround is usually like a month, if not less. It's only when the players haven't signed them. That's when it takes, like, who knows how long that could take. Take forever. All right. There's Tua, Rookie of the Year card. And we got Quintez Cephas, 45 out of 87. That's for Detroit. That's going to go to Victor. I mean, I could just do the autographs for him, Ray. That's a pretty spot. <laughs> Dolphins with uh, is John Deneen. We got CJ Henderson for the Jags. Cat Team Mojo for Kurt. Now, to, to be fair, Joe Burrow, as I remember, did did have the cards. Kind of think he was just a little late, did by a day or two. And his heart was in the right place. The timing was not. There's Jalen Ragor, on card autograph. Eagles Martin, with the fly Eagles fly. I'm late to everything, so I I, I understand where Joe Burrow. I'd probably if I was in a set, I'd probably be a redemption to be honest with you. We got another. We got uh, Alshon Jeffrey this time to 99 for the Eagles.
And we got Tyler Bass. Rookie ticket autograph for Sean Maddock and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! And Buffalo Stampede. Wish that was a gold parallel. Buffalo gold. And we got Damian Wilson. Nice. Rookie ticket autograph for the Chiefs. That'll be for Tyler Brenner. Wait, did Damian was it Damian Wilson that opted out? Or is Darrell Wilson? Who's who's gonna be playing in the Super Bowl? <laughs> Damian or Darrell Wilson? Well, yeah, it's two D Wilsons. All right, next box. Damien opted out. Okay. So Daryl or Darrell Williams will be will be the one to look for. Although, is that did you guys hear about the uh, Kansas City offensive, the center, a very important position. So apparently. The the Kansas City center was getting his hair cut. I need to get a haircut too. But not by this barber. The barber got the text that he was that he had tested positive for COVID in the middle of his haircut. So not only does Kansas City Center not have a full haircut, he's got half a haircut. What if it was just like the left side or something weird like that? It's half a haircut. Backup center. Still important. You know? And now he doesn't, we don't know if he's going to play until Saturday. Come on, barber guy. And then 20 other team members or staff, including Mahomes, was lined up to get their hair cut by the guy. Oh, man. Disaster averted. That's why you should always be late to things, ladies and gentlemen, just like me. I read a story that I, I read a story earlier today in Athletic ESPN, something like that. Um, that uh, that even if Brady and Mahomes got, you know, if they tested positive for COVID, that they would still go ahead with the game. There's Malik Harrison. No, they said they'd keep doing. They they'd do it, Rebel. Right, and it ruins that whole Mahomes State Farm haircut commercial. There's a uh, Harrison going to Aaron. How dumb do you have to be to, to be that concerned about a haircut? Well, I guess, I mean, like sub. If you feel good, you play good. If you feel fresh, you're gonna play fresh. There's Nate Stanley. Vikings. That's another one for McSub. So going into the Super Bowl, you want to have your best outfits ready. You want to feel fly. You want to play fly. You want to get a fresh do. I mean, you got to put yourself in the head of a pro athlete. And I'm pretty much a pro athlete, so I get it. There's DeAndre Swift, 12 out of 25. You just gotta, that's why I come here to work every day looking fly and feeling fresh. There's Victor Z with the Lions. You know, because I want to give you guys the best, the best appearance possible. You know, could I be doing this on a kitchen table dressed in sweats and have food stains on my shirt and looked unkempt? I mean, I could do that. No one would really care. I bet, I'll bet I pull less heat that way. You know? Is that a 149? You know who I blame? I blame the barber. Why did, why, why did he test for COVID and then, and then not wait until that test was negative or positive one way or the other? That's right, Shin. Shin's right. Like Dion said, you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, you play good, they pay good. 
There you go, mix sub. Got it. Got to have that. Got to have that athlete mentality. Otherwise, what you, th you think the owners are going to do you a favor and pay you? No. There's Ross Blacklock for the Houston Texans, King D. And there's fragile egos in those heads. <laughs> Got to get that fresh stew. Build up that confidence. We got Raymond Calais again. Raymond de Jesus is starting his Raymond Calais personal collection, his PC, whether he intended to or not. Rams. Final box. Yeah, see, there you go. So mix up. So you shouldn't be surprised. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be surprised. Of course, they want fresh stews. I would want a fresh stew before the Super Bowl. That backup center, he's going to be on the sidelines without a helmet, with uh, especially in a COVID year. How many? How many tens of millions of people are watching this on TV right now from their homes? Oh man, this might be one of the highest rated Super Bowls ever. And if, you, if you're sitting on the sideline with a sloppy do, and the CBS cameras pick up that sloppy do, hundred million people that see that around the world, and it's like, they'll be like, "Oh, look at Kansas City. I guess they're too cheap to give their guys haircuts." Look at that! Look at that lettuce, all all over the place. You know, looks like looks like. Peter Rabbit running through old McGregor's farm. You know? Can't have Peter Rabbit running through your dew, running through that lettuce. No way. Get out of here, Peter Rabbit. Get out of get out of my get out of my garden. Stop jamming up my lettuce. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. We got Darnay Holmes for the New York Football Giants. DH. All right, thanks, Darnay. We appreciate that. That goes to Chad O and the New York Football Giants. And we got an Emmett Smith autograph. Wow. I thought it was, I thought it was going to be Panini. Sometimes they troll you. They flip a card around, but it's not really an autograph. And they flash a big name on the back. But that's a nice Emmett Smith legendary contenders auto. 10 out of 10. Travis Abramson won the uh, Dallas Cowboys in a team random. In a cello pack break. So there you go. Congrats. Uh, old old Raider Lynn Bowden Jr. also going to Travis Abramson, 43 out of 49. Remember, second half of the case, 18 teams left, no fillers yet. Let me refresh the page again. Yeah, no fillers yet. Grab your teams, folks. I think if we we can fill that break straight up, I think, without having to worry about fillers, or at least get it down to like maybe a dozen teams, Single-digit teams before you even think about a filler. There's uh, Henry Ruggs right here to 149. We got behind Russell Wilson. We got KJ Hill, Charger, Sean Maddock.
We got Terrell Burgess. Rookie take autograph for the Ramley. Raymond De Jesus with the Rams. You know, I didn't think I'd need HBO Max. But then I got it. <laughs> and I use it a lot. I don't know how many subscription services I have now. All right, there you go. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Got a left-right randomizer to do right here. Right quick. Once again, second half available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Go and get it. There's new dice right there. We've got a left-right randomizer. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a three, seven times. Side on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh and final time. Lucky seven. After seven, it's left side. So left side cards will get all of these round numbers cards right here. Here's a quick recap of the break. Thank, is that like a little heart right there? Thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Really appreciated that Emmett Smith was nice. DeAndre Swift was nice. We'll see Damian next year. I like these die cut autographs. Joe Burrow, rookie ticket variation was nice. We got some nice stuff in here. Tim Patrick redemption. And right out of the first box, we got that Justin Jefferson 11 out of 18 ticket stub autograph. That's pretty nice. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.